Hi guys, thanks for watching the video. These are very simple flowers to achieve, so let's get started. In this video, you'll learn how to make these three flowers. Let's start off with the pink flowers. Take out your polymer clay. Here I'm using the pink clay, and these are female soft. Take out a cutting tool and cut a small piece of the clay. Take one third of the clay and mold it into a circle. Roll it out. Use your palm to roll it out and then flatten it with, flatten it with your fingers. Make sure the clay is thin and flat out. You can do this by using both your fingers and flatten out like here. Now start off at one point, choose the smallest point and roll it into a ball. Each time you're slowly rolling it, make sure you're twisting the long end of the clay so that it creates these petals. Once you get to a desired size, go ahead and cut that off. Now I'm using a tiny piece of the green clay for the leaves. Form the leaf to the style and size you want. Now I'm just going to place it right here where the clay ends to cover it up. Then I'm going to make my other leaf. And place it on the other side. There you have it. Next, let's move on to the purple flower. This flower actually, I made it with two colors. So here I'm going to use orange and red. Once you get a small piece of each, go ahead and mold it into a circle. This flower has 10 uh, petals total. So I'm going to make 5 orange petals and 5 of the red petals. Just mold each petal individually like this. Let's move on to the orange petals. But once you're done, you want to pick the smallest petal to begin with. Roll it like this. The next petal should be orange. You want to alternate the colors. Make sure you're putting the smaller petals in first before the bigger petals. You should save the bigger petals to cover the outer layer of the flower. And we're almost done. There you go. Now you just want to fix the flour one last time before baking it. Fix the petal so they're not all straight but they're going different directions. And the bottom I'm just going to flatten out so that when it after it's baked, it'll be able to stand flat.
and the last flower here should be the easiest. Here I'm using the yellow color clay. Take out a piece and roll it. After that, you just want to use your hands and flatten it out. The width of the clay will determine the height of the flower. The length of the clay will determine the size of the flower. Starting at one end, roll the clay inward like this. Make sure you're slowly putting pressure at the bottom of the clay as my left hand is doing it. That way the bottom of the flower is not the same size as the top of the flower. It's uh, slightly slimmer. Once that's done, you just kind of want to spread out the petal at the top. That's it everyone, thank you for watching.